Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about selling of soap in the local market. What that implies is that we are going to be talking about the sales of soap at a cheap amount of price. Different customers can buy soap and sell at different price and at different profit ratio. And that is what we are going to be talking about in this video. The process of the soap making will be shown in one corner of the video because I assume that you have watched soap making videos on this channel a couple of times. So come along with me as I show you and explain the difference in local markets and otherwise. Subscribe to this channel, put on your notification bell so that when I upload new videos just like this beautiful one you are watching, you will be the first to be notified. Also, if you enjoyed this video, at the end of the video, I will advise that you share the video, share the link to your friends and families so that everyone can understand when they buy a cheap soap and when they are buying the expensive one. You can see that I also showcase this other one that can show luxury maybe when you are done so here is my soap i'm going to be showing you how we make this soap right inside this video here is my soap as you can see i made this all this uh, batch of soap with just four thousand naira four thousand naira and what i'm about to explain in this video is that without your four thousand naira an individual can make 15 liters of liquid soap qualitative liquid soap you know, you are talking about qualitative, we'll be talking about how thick it's supposed to be, we'll be talking about how foamy, if you look very closely, you see foam inside it, which is supposed to tell you that this is a foamy liquid soap. So those two characteristics are the major things that people look out for. Other characteristics are like the smell, you see some people buying the soap in the market and putting it in their nose to smell how beautiful um, the aroma it has. All of that and more are the things we are going to be talking about in this video. So stay tuned. You can um, see the different samples of the soap. Like I said earlier, I made this soap with 4,000 naira. And in this container, we have 15 liters. When we, made, when we finish making that production, we have 15 liters complete. And when we made that 15 liters from the 4,000, we, we were trying to measure what somebody will offer as 100 naira in the local market and this is what I came up with so I measured this exact thickness measured it into this container this is 35 cl and this is my 35 cl and this is also my 35 cl so I put this 35 cl into this and this is what I got so you will see people in the market selling this method, measurement of liquids of 100 naira you will see some of them selling this measurement 100 naira you will see some of them selling this thickness 100 naira and you are going to see some other people selling this lighter one 100 naira and that is what this video is all about after making the 15 liters of liquid soap we are going to be adding 2 liters as you are going to see me do now this cup is 2 liters of water we are going to be adding 2 liters of water into the soap of the 15 liters that we have already made earlier now after adding 2 liters so this soap, we are going to stay it very well. We are going to stay it very well. Where am I trying to go or what am I driving at? I'm only trying to tell you that three different people can visit our working store in a day. The three of them have bought 4,000 Naira soap and gone on to make. An individual made, and maybe let me refer to the first individual as individual A, made the liquid soap and made it 15 liters of soap. Individual B produced our own liquid soap and produced it and came up with a solution, a liquid soap solution that was 17 liters. Individual C produced our own liquid soap and came up with a solution that was able also be able to sell 100, 100 naira. What is my point? This is individual A soap and this is individual B soap and this is individual C soap. So individual A, B, C, if they are going to be measuring 35 CL, and selling at 100 naira in the local market. 
Individual A will be gaining just 500 naira because individual A will be measuring this measurement 45 pieces, which means 100 naira in 45 places will be 4,500. So individual A has gained a particular amount which is 500 naira. Now individual B that is making this other thickness is going to be making the, the soap 17 liters. And by the time the individual B is selling, the product that will come out of that soap will be 15, 51 pieces of this 35 CL. And the thickness will be this way. And if the individual B will have gained a whooping amount of 1,007 instead of the one the 500 naira that individual A has gained. Now here is individual C. Individual C has added five liters of water to the original 15 liters that we made. And individual C has brought this to the market. And while individual C has brought this to the market, individual C has gained 2,000 naira. Whooping 2,000 naira. Now, the, the moral of the explanation is that different people have gone to the market, somebody has bought this as 100 naira, another person has bought this as 100 naira, the other third person has bought this measurement as 100 naira. Now, the people, the sellers of the soap have had different gains, and the people that have bought the soap have bought different quality of soap, and they have brought different value from the market to the house. How does this affect you as a producer? As a producer, you are seeing your neighbor selling a particular measurement of soap at a particular price. And you are wondering how, if I sell it at this price, I'm not going to make gain. Maybe your transport cost is even that than that your neighbor wants to gain. That is why there is calculation, there is personal calculation in business. There is mathematics in soap making. There is personal things that you add to, to whatever it is that you are producing. Maybe individual A has not added plenty of water. But individual C has added plenty of water. So you, as individual B, you are neutral between individual A and individual B. I hope you get this message. So as I was saying, this is the way the soap is when we already made this soap 17 liters. Still very okay. If I if I if I decide to get bubbles out of it, you will see that the soap is still is still going to foam. So when you make your soap. And you are making 15 liters of soap out of this 4,000 recipe. I'm going to be putting the recipe in the description box. And we also put it on our screen. Everything put up that came up together to be to this 4,000 naira that we made this soap. Now, the moral of the, um, of the video is that different people sell their soaps at different price. The video is not just for those of us that are producing but for every one of us that are also buyers. Some of us are producers of liquid soap, and in some cases we have the um, need to pay, to buy, to purchase liquid soap. Understand that for quality and pricing, there is a way they relate. When you are buying your quality, and when you are buying your, your when you are pricing your goods, there is a way they relate, either for the producer or for the buyer. So if you are buying something, um, this measurement, and you are buying it hundred naira, Another person is selling it this measurement and is selling it hundred naira. Different um, calculation has gone into it, and different profit making has gone into it. Now let me go. Uh, let me explain another thing for those of us that are selling in the market, because actually this video is for sellers in the market and the local communities. Why they want to make sure that they continue selling hundred naira, and the economy is adding money. So for it, there used to be two eight. Is now 3,500, 3,006, between 3,5 and 3,8 in the market, especially for Korea brand. Now, what I told the customers, my working customers, is exactly what I'll be explaining right now. If you measure 35 CL in this container and you are selling with this container, a lot of customers will assume that it is small. They will be telling themselves that she sold me this small container 100 naira. But look at the selling principle. If you pour this into this, this is where this, this soap will be when you pour it into this container. Now, pouring it into this container, they will say, she gave me almost half a bottle of soap and she sold it hundred naira. And the soap is foamy and the soap is still thick. So you understand as a seller that the container you use in giving the soap to your customers matters a lot. This particular video is for local markets. I hope that I will still be able to make the kind of soap and the kind of selling manners 
that people that are making luxurious soap can also do. Now, if you have not watched, because the production of this video was just fasting, because I assume that if you have been following me, you will have watched the production of liquid soap and the different batches of production of liquid soap that I've made on this channel. Just in case you are just watching me for the first time, you need to go back and watch those videos that we have made on multiple liquid soap, transparent liquid soap, trying to explain one thing or the other. Most of the videos, I try to drive to a point. Driving to a point makes me a teacher. It makes me a student that will continue to watch my video to follow me step by step. So understand that the container you are using as a market woman, as somebody selling in your local environment, matters a lot. Also, this other second batch that I that I said, the person sold bought the soup four thousand. The person measured fifty one pieces, and the person made a profit of one thousand one. What I measured into this container is exactly what is measured into this container. But because this container is long, and this one is also long, but the, the, the beneath of this container is a little bit bigger than the upper parts. Now, the soap is looking as if it's just a little bit above half. So when you present these two soaps to a customer, some of them will say the container is just half, even though they can see that it's above half. That is the way customers do. And I know you are also a customer. In some places, you are a customer. In some aspects, in some places, I am also a customer. So that is how we all do. So this, some people will say, oh, it's just a little above half. But you will agree with me that they will say this is almost filled up. Nobody will refer to this as a little above half. They will say it's almost filled up. And she still sold it to me 100 naira. So we are, I'm leaving you for a, a, a take home message so that if you are selling your soap in the local market, you understand that despite the economy, you can buy 4,000 naira soap and you can make 2,000 naira. But this is the thickness of your soap. You can see the soap is still going to fold, but the thickness will be lighter. Some people want their soap to be thick and some want their soap to be, to be foamy. And we have some other customers that want their soap to double. So if you fall under this category, that you want to make as, as uh, much as 2,000 naira or your 4,000 naira, I advise that you measure, you add water to it to make 20 liters and sell this 100 naira. You can decide that this one that you have left at that 15 liters, you can sell either 150 or, or there about. That is when you do your proper calculation. So viewers, I'm trying to round up with the fact that Three people can buy 4,000 naira soap and we can all get our destination and sell it at different prices. Before we round up, I'm still going to be adding water to this so that I'm going to complete the 20 liters that I said initially. This is not even up to 2 liters and I'm going to be adding more. So those people that buy, the people that come to the working store to buy or are you there? You have somebody that is selling in the local market and people are comparing your soap with the person that I used to buy from Mama Labaja and it's cheaper than your own. Understand that you are not selling the same thing. Understand that you may be buying from the same place, but you are not selling at the same profit ratio. So if you want your profit ratio to increase, you have two options. It is either you are going to sell at that price that candidate A is selling, which means that you sell the same measurement to have little profit and your profit has not increased. The other option is that you do this. You are going to have to add water to that particular soap. So you know that I have made videos explaining luxurious and non-luxurious. This is a typical example of something that is in between. This soap, we cannot classify it as the luxurious. It cannot fall under the category of the soaps like money fresh, like so many people that come to the working store likes to buy. But honestly, this soap will pass to wash soap in your house. You can see that the soap is not water. It is still soapy. You can see from the top that the soap is still foaming. I hope to see you in my next video. Ask your questions and let me know in the comment section if this was helpful. By commenting helpful, see you in my next video.